welcome to another episode with me, Teacher Kamanga from uh, Diamond Learning Academy. Uh, we'll be looking at biology, specifically the topic digestion in the mouth and the stomach. Therefore, in our discussion for today, we'll specifically uh, concentrate on the mouth and also the stomach. Now, by definition, we're saying digestion is a breakdown of food into simple forms. Now, we need to understand that food needs to be broken down into simple forms because it is very important that this food that we normally eat should be digested and also should be dissolved in the body. Remember, the blood it is the one responsible for transporting the dissolved food substance that we eat from different food. Therefore, it is very, very important that this food that we eat is broken down into simpler forms. Now, we understand that uh, the digestion starts in the mouth. Now, there are two basic things that we need to understand that probably takes place in the mouth. One, there is what we call mechanical digestion and also there is what we call chemical digestion. With mechanical digestion, this process usually takes place by the act of teeth. The teeth usually choose the big food chunks into smaller ones. Now, the act of teeth are the ones that normally break down the food uh, into smaller pieces that can be swallowed uh, by the gut. In this case, we also need to understand that uh, the uh, chemical digestion normally takes place because there are some chemicals that are involved. This, what we are simply trying to say is that in the, in the mouth, uh, there are what we call the salivary glands, which produces the enzyme called salivary amylase. Now, the salivary amylase in the mouth, it is the one that starts the digestion of starch in the mouth. So basic, basically, the digestion of starch usually starts in the mouth. Now, when the saliva has been produced, what normally happens at uh, one, the saliva is being produced because it needs to cool the temperature of the food that we are eating. For instance, if you are taking hot food, that hot food is going to be cooled down by the saliva which uh, simply means that the water contained in the saliva it is responsible for that uh, cooling down of uh, the temperature. Then there's also mucus which is also being produced in the mouth. The mucus, it is a slippery substance which is also very important in digestion because it assists the food to go down the gut. Now, as the food has been turned into a bolus in the mouth, it is going to be pushed down into the gut or the esophagus. Now, the esophagus wall has what we call the muscles. By the contraction and also the relaxation of those muscles in the esophagus, the food is escorted into the stomach. Now, the process that normally enables the gut to allow the food to pass through the, uh, the, the esophagus, it is called peristosis, which is being carried along by uh, the act of uh, the two muscles that normally contracted and also relax. Now, as the food is being received in the stomach. In the stomach also there are some important uh, actions that normally takes place that also assist the facilitation of uh, the digestion in the stomach. Remember, uh, this food, the whole idea for it to be digested is because it needs to be uh, absorbed by the bloodstream and also be used in different parts of the body. Now, as this food allows in the stomach, what normally happens is that one, uh, the stomach produces what we call gastric juice. The gastric juice are very, very important because one, they contain what we call the hydrochloric acid, and then also they also contain uh, two enzymes which is known as pepsin and also lenin. And also the gastric juice, uh, their main function is one, when you look at the hydrochloric acid being produced in the stomach, it activates the pepsin and also the lenin. For we know that in the stomach, that's where now uh, uh, starch digestion, uh, digestion for uh, proteins starts from. Therefore, the, pro uh, the protein needs to be digested by uh, the pepsin enzyme and also the renin enzyme also it assists. Now, for it to be activated, it needs the hydrochloric acid. Therefore, the hydrochloric acid it is also very, very important. Then another important thing for the hydrochloric acid is that when you look at uh, the stomach, the stomach, it is also uh, provides the environment for protein digestion. This means that the pepsin and also the renin, uh, they work best in acidic environment. Therefore, the hydrochloric acid also, it is going to provide that acidic environment in the stomach. Now, 
when you look at uh, the pepsin and also the lenin which has been produced the pepsin it starts the digestion of proteins which breaks down protein into smaller uh, polypeptides when also come to the lenin lenin it is mostly produced in uh, children or babies because babies normally they take in milk therefore the lenin is going to coagulate the milk and uh, turn it into soluble uh, uh, protein therefore it is go also going to be digested as a protein now it is very very important to understand uh, that also in the stomach because we know that the stomach has some muscles those muscles are the ones that are responsible uh, for mixing the food uh, by the process of, uh, of uh, chaming now the process of chaming enables that all the food that are in the stomach are mixed together with the gastric juice that have been produced so that all the proteins are able to be digested in the stomach from the stomach the food also uh, goes down into the duodenum where uh, uh, digestion continues from there remember in this case we only tried to uh, enlighten and also emphasize on how digestion normally takes place in the mouth and also the stomach Therefore, I encourage you to continue following up uh, with these sessions in biology with me so that we're able to get more on these different topics that we normally cover. Thank you very much. Hope you've benefited and also hope you've enjoyed my session. Goodbye.